I'm gonna grab some churros here. You've never seen Milwaukee South Side like this. The people, the food, the stores. This is a day in the life of a South Side neighbor. It's crazy because I set this up all perfectly for stuff that I also needed to do. So, <laughs> so I'm we're doing get... a my block story and mm -hmm. we're running your errands. <laughs> yes, <laughs> basically. But it's not just errands. It's about meeting the people who took a chance by leaving their countries to come to Milwaukee. ¿Por qué llegas aquí? ¿Por qué mueves aquí? Entonces él toda su vida trabajó de carnicero e hubo la oportunidad de elegir, de agarrar un negocio. Y es algo como como casero, como realmente mexicano. This is Milwaukee. Este es Milwaukee. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Ramirez. This is the Muskegaway neighborhood. Welcome to my block. I met with Elizabeth so she could show me the Muskego Way neighborhood. I wanted to learn about Milwaukee's South Side through her eyes and experiences. Where we went and who we talked to was all up to her. Welcome to Elizabeth's neighborhood. I'm due in a couple of weeks, so whew, it's coming soon. <laughs> I actually, this won't be my first daughter. I already have three daughters. So this will be my fourth baby. So I feel comfortable knowing, you know, that my kids are gonna grow up um, having that sense of family and togetherness in our block. This is my neighborhood bakery. Hola. Hola, buenos días. Buenos días, ¿cómo está? Bien, gracias a Dios. My favorite thing to come here for is the conchas. So the chocolate ones especially, but they have all types of flavors. I usually get like two or three chocolate. <laughs> I was like 15 or so when I remember coming here more often and I'm like in my, I don't wanna say right now, <laughs> I'm in my 30s now. So it's been like definitely over 20 years. So simple um, bread recipes, but it's like a very popular in our culture. So. And for employees like Tanya Andrade, this is a taste of home. Me siento identificada de donde soy, o sea, no me siento como que estoy en Estados Unidos. <laughs> While it's not easy, this is how she creates a better life for her family. Seguir progresando, este, aprender el inglés, que mis hijas estudien y también que lo aprendan. Gracias, nos vemos. Nada, hasta luego. Adiós. <laughs> oh, as I describe you. <laughs> We're going to the corner store here, Carniceria Vargas. A carniceria is a butcher shop. This one is directly across the street from the bakery. Here we go. Morning. Hola. Buenos dias. Como esta? Vengo aquí a de compras. So right now we're gonna shop around for some dinner today. Hola, como esta? Me da una libre de arrachera, por favor. Lots of tortillas. <laughs> I would say if not every day for something, like at least like three to four times a week. The butcher shop has been around for more than 20 years. Everyone comes here for the same thing. La carne. La carne de puerco, la carne de res, el chorizo casero. For Saira and her husband, owning this shop is a dream come true. Eh, pues más adelante, pues crecer. Eh, ¿Por qué no? A lo mejor eh, abrir una tienda, comprar un edificio, no sé. Y así brindar más servicios a la comunidad, tener una taquería. You know, we have businesses, we have people that are really involved. So luckily there hasn't been like too many um, negative things happening um, aside reckless driving, which I know that happens everywhere right now. So it's lunch time. We're gonna head over to Taqueria La Esperanza. So let's sit over here. This is my favorite table. 
because I love all the plants they have here. So, a mí me dan los chilaquiles verdes con el huevo estrellado. Although I shouldn't, because I should be cooking at home, right? I probably come like twice, two to three times a week. So delicious! Look at all this. All credit goes to Paula for this delicious food. Her and her family own the restaurant. Even though this isn't where they grew up, it still feels like home. Pues aquí estamos en el centro de la comunidad hispana. Entonces se nos gustó porque la mayoría de nosotros estamos aquí. ¿Qué quieres en la futura? Pues pienso que pues para mis hijos tener un algo donde ellos dejarles una herencia como algo que siga nuestra tradición y que tengan un futuro más adelante para sus hijos. Before I said goodbye, there was one final question I had to ask Elizabeth. Is there anything else you'd like to say about your neighborhood? Like we're really um, a close community in this block and we're looking forward to having, you know, more green spaces here, keeping our streets clean and having a lot more opportunities for our block, you know.